Hello everyone, this is the 15th video of the end-to-end -end machine learning project series and I will show how to create a structured data set for machine learning models. If you look at our roadmap, we will complete step 7 and step 8 and after that we will build machine learning models to detect phishing websites. Now let's look at data collection and preparation architecture. As I said before a couple of times, there is more than one way to do here. I tried to design a simple architecture. First of all, our input file will be a CSV file which, which contains URLs of phishing and legitimate websites. For the phishing, I use fishtank.org and for the legitimate ones, I use Tranquilist as a data source. Let's download together and let's see them. Firstly, you should google fishtank and you will see fishtank.org. Open it and you will see developers as a tab menu. Click on it. Then you will see online valid datasets in different formats. As you see, the datasets are hourly updated. We will use CSV file, so I will just copy the URL and download the CSV file. Of course, you can inspect the website and uh, actually they have also API support and for the moment a CSV file is enough for us. By the way, they are all phishing websites, so we also need legitimate website URLs and for that I will use Tranquilist. Let's google it. Tranquilist. First one, tranquilist.eu, a research oriented top sites. That's the one. Open it. Only thing is clicking download button. And as you see, they regularly update the list and they are researchers. So if you click on download button, you will download a zip file. Extract the zip file, then copy both phishing CSV file and legitimate file to the same directory of your Python files. After all, you should see the files in the PyCharm like this. So let's go back to the uh, data collection architecture. First of all, we will transform our CSV file to a pandas data frame. There can be some unrelated columns, so we will drop unrelated columns and we will keep only URLs. Then we will create a URL list in Python. Then for each URL, our data collector will take the URL and send a request to that URL. If everything goes well, we will receive a proper response. Of course, we should consider the website can be inactive or maybe server doesn't respond in a convenient time. I will show all of them in the code. But after getting the response, the HTML content, we will use our beautiful SOAP based feature functions and produce numerical values for each features. And at the end, we will create a vector for the web page, for each web page. And we will add the vector to data frame, as you see here. We will repeat this process for each URL. Then we add label column and label values. If the URL list is phishing URLs, then label value should be 1 for each row. If the list is legitimate URL list, then label value should be 0. And finally, we will convert this data frame to a CSV file and we will obtain a structured and labeled dataset. And that's all. Now I will show this process in Python. So let's open PyCharm. First of all, we need to import libraries and our future extraction files. Remember that firstly, we will collect data, then we will use our predefined feature extraction functions, beautiful soap and pandas to create a data structured data. For data collection, we should import request. So I will write import request as re. Also, in order to prevent insecure request warnings, we should import these insecure request warning and disable warnings. That's all for the data collection part. For the next phase, for the uh, unstructured to structured part, we should import beautiful soap. So from BS4, import beautiful soap. Import pandas as PD. We will use the uh, pandas to create a data frame or data frame to CSV operations. And lastly, import our feature extraction Python file. And I will say import feature extraction as FE. 
Ok, we are ready to start and let's disable insecure request warnings. Disable warnings. If you don't disable this warning, then when you try to send some request to uh, phishing URLs, you will get errors, you will get warnings. So after that, uh, step one is CSV to the data frame. So I will just write data frame equals pd.readcsv URL file name. Of course, we should define URL file name before this line. So URL file name equals I will co just copy paste here. Uh, and this, uh, you know, have the legitimate this file have legitimate website URLs. So firstly, we will create our legitimate structured dataset. If you look at the phishing CSV file, which is the name uh, is a verified online CSV, you will see different column names such as fish ID, submission time, etc. And these are not important for us. So we only need URLs. But when we open the Tranco file, Tranco list file, there are only index and URLs and no titles. So to make them standard, I will add a new line to top URL title, same title with the verified online file. Okay, now they are standard, they are equal, cool, they have some same column names. So I can just write URL list equals data frame URL. Also, I want to use this data frame column as a list. So I will add here that to list. Okay. Now we can use URLs, but if you look at the number of URLs in the verified online CSV file, you will see 64,207 URLs in the file. So this is too much to send request at one time. A legitimate URL file is also too big. Therefore, I want to restrict URL numbers in each request loop. So I will define begin and end variables. So let's say begin equals zero and equals 100. This is for the test. Then I can update these numbers, of course, and collection list equals URL list from begin to end. And last remind, if you look at the Tranquil list file, uh, URLs are not proper and valid. So they need HTTP or HTTPS colon and two slashes as a string to their beginning. Therefore, only for the legitimate ones, be careful here because phishing website URLs are valid, they are proper. But for the legitimate ones, I will add these command lines. Tech equals HTTP colon two slash. And collection list equals tech plus URL for URL in collection list. Okay, our collection list is ready. Now we will send a request to each URL of this list. And if we received a response, we will parse the HTML and extract feature values from the HTML. Finally, we will create a vector for each. So let's do it together. First of all, we will define our function. Def create structured data. As a parameter, we will give our URL list. I want to create a new list which contains a structured data. So I will create an empty list data list then we will append each vector to this list and return the data list okay i will use for loop here so for i and range from zero to length of your list response equals re dot get as a url i will say url list i here I will add verify and timeout parameters because uh, there can be URLs which don't have SSL certificate or sometimes uh, for some URLs response time can be too long. Therefore I will add verify equals false and timeout equals for. Okay then if response that status code uh, is not equal to 200 then print HTTP connection was not successful for the URL. I want to see also the URL. 
else uh, first thing I will create a beautiful soap object using this response content so soap equals beautiful soap response that content and as a second parameter we should write HTML that parser now we can use our feature extraction functions because remember that our functions will receive uh, the soap as a parameter so vector equals fe dot create vector soap here also I want to add the URL in case we can use it or maybe we want to know the URL in the following steps I'm not sure but I think it can be uh, helpful to add that so uh, by the way if you don't watch the previous feature extraction videos this part can be unclear to you so I recommend those videos before this if you don't watch them you can click on the information card on the corner of the screen to directly jump to those videos now our vector is ready so we can add this vector to data list data list append vector and finally return the data list that's all but we should also consider the exceptions especially when we work with the request library and try to receive a response from unknown URLs like phishing URLs so therefore I will add try and accept here regarding request exceptions try slide all and accept re.exceptions.request exception as e you can say directly continue or print the which URL cause problem cause exception so I will say print i arrow and e okay now that's all now we can use this function to create a data variable so let's create it data equals create structured data and we have a collection list here we have column names I copied this from the feature extraction file and added the URL to the end because as you see I added the URL here to the end of the vector and now we can create our new data frame if data frame data equals data columns equals columns okay our structured data frame is ready now I want to create a CSV file also I will run this code several times because I restricted the URLs and I don't want to create a new CSV file for each I want to add new data frame new data frame rows to existing CSV files so and as a mode I will write a which means append to the end of the CSV file as new line so an index uh, false header should be true for the first run but after the first run it should be false after creating a CSV file in other words from the second run you should change this as false okay let's run it and inspect the CSV file as you see even though we have 100 URLs in the list structured data contains nearly 70 vectors that means some of the URLs connections were not successful or there can be some timeout issues so this is very good actually because when you run the phishing URLs it will be worse you will see and as you see each HTML file of the each URL was represented with numerical values in a vector format so we can say it in a structured format structured representation and the last step is labeling actually it is quite simple because our input files are separated so we know which one contains phishing which one contains legitimate sites so simply for the legitimate websites before converting or appending data frame to csv file just add this df label zero for the legitimate ones one for the phishing ones we have two classes as phishing and legitimate and if the value of label is one that means that url is phishing url otherwise it is a legitimate website's url
Now we have structured and labeled data sets so we can use supervised learning for our phishing detection models. You can also design different flow for data collection and obtaining structured data. For example, you can save HTML files, then use them in our feature extraction files like we did in the previous videos. However, as you see, even the size of 10 HTML files is uh, 934 kilobytes. So if we have 10,000 phishing files, the total size may be nearly one gigabyte. And let's assume we have similar for the legitimate ones. So total folder size can be two gigabytes. Uh, I didn't want to use mem memory two gigabytes. Therefore, I didn't implement this flow, but you can use if you want, of course. The important thing is obtaining structured and labeled data set for our machine learning models. Okay, as you see, we completed five major sections with this video. And next video will be about machine learning models, how to build them, which machine learning algorithms can be used for content-based phishing detection.